Hey folks, good evening. Welcome to another episode. It's about quarter past five, finished up work. We're trying to hustle a little bit and we got some big jobs done. At the end of this corridor is our bedroom, still kind of dark inside. We got a bedroom wired, plumbed, ready for plaster. The only thing we want to do is to put the ventilation shaft right up along here at the very top of the wall. So I think I'm going to build a little shelf, kind of a conduit right across here. Route all of the ventilation up to here and I'll turn around and we'll continue with the ventilation from the other side along the same path. It's only a tiny little bit of plasterboard. I have loads of uh, two by ones left from when I did the battens. So I'm gonna try to attach a two by one to the wall and then bring across some two by one battens. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but we're gonna see how it goes. It's not going to be hugely interesting and it's quite challenging to film in here because there's very small space, but also the light is terrible. I might actually move the light to the ground like this. Oh -hoo! Yeah, got some light shining up there. I'll take you up with me. I'll show you what I'm doing. Catch you guys later. I have finished the last little bit of conduit up here and I just started thinking, what do I need to do? Because our bedroom was meant to be done last, as you know. Everything went sideways and ended up being the first thing we do completely. So it's fully wired, it's fully plumbed, it's got the extractors. I have to build the conduit up here for the extractor that goes the whole length. There's a lot that needs to be done over the kitchen. I'll get to that later. But I think, I think this half of the house is ready. I think I can start plasterboard. I think. Now, originally we were gonna move all the plasterboard up here, but. Well, I guess we're going to start putting the plasterboard up. Now, we've done a few small bits in the bathroom, but haven't really, um, I would say, I'm taking this seriously because I have a little thing here. It's one of those fancy plasterboard lifter or upper jobs. And I think it's going to be kind of useful for ceilings. I'm not sure. We're going to open it up. We're going to try and put it together and we're going to see if it's worth it. Evening folks, it's about three or four days since the last video where I was assembling the plasterboard mount. The last few days, uh, we've had horrific weather and I've been helping Claire in the garden doing the polytunnel. So if you check, well, this is gonna come out in a few months, but this is going back to February, I suppose. March, yeah, at the end of February, start of March. I was helping Claire set up the polytunnel and it was a feckin' disaster. Myself and Claire have been at it for two days and we're about halfway through, so needless to say, if you're going down this route, get it set up by the pros. So anyway, I'm determined now to move on to the next phase of our bedroom, which is to get the plasterboard up. Super excited by that. But this tool I got, which is to make the job easier, it's huge, it's possibly too big. Have a look at that. So it has a huge footprint for a start, which is going to get in the way of the stuff I have here. So I'm not sure how I'm going to get it up. I'll have to move some things, I think. And then you see in here because of the height of it, like it's just it's so close to the ceiling. I mean, this is a low height anyway, but this side is meant to um, tilt. You're meant to load it up kind of vertically like that and it sits on these little orange hinges here just to make easy loading but my roof is too small I can't so it makes for difficult loading however once it's up I think it's not too bad to move around and I'm gonna give it a go and I'm gonna see how I get on I'm kind of determined now to at least get one board up I think that would be pretty damn cool um so i suppose where would be a good position for you i'm gonna start in the corner it's the tallest point and i think that might be the most forgiving for us 
our ground isn't perfectly level but it's not so bad i think we better send it in straight just those brakes This is really Claire did tidy up this place to prep for me, but I don't think either of us realized what kind of big job this was gonna be. Um I just and also it's meant to be vertical so you can position it, but we're kind of not at that point. So, I just don't know how to get it where I need it. That doesn't feel like the right side. I'm pretty certain it should. I don't know actually what side it should be on. Maybe I can go this way? I mean that don't look the worst. Let me lift it up a little bit higher, see how we get on. How does this work? It's got a, a very handy brake on this device, so it ain't gonna fall on top of me. Almost. All right, there was a little metal window strap out there that just tore the plasterboard. There's another one on the other side. Maybe I should have gotten it up higher before I tried to slot it into place. Oh shit, Ru, what was that? going like that folks okay so now kind of have it somewhat wedged um, What we found, if you guys do a project like this, stay. If you guys are gonna do a project like this, what we found is it takes a little bit of time for us to figure out, we say a system. Everything we do is brand new. I've never done this before. So it just takes a little bit for us to understand what's happening. And let's see how we can do things. So like this corner now is in fairly tight, but this corner has a bit of a gap. This whole space though isn't straight, so I'm not necessarily sure I can correct that. Thank you. 
we just had a little bit of dinner and uh, I was feeling fairly confident after the first one and I gave it a go. It was really difficult in this tiny space. I managed to do it, dented it or scraped it a little bit, but I got it up all the way to the top. First off, I realized I wasn't recording. Second, I realized I had it on upside down. Oh, I've since read online and it doesn't matter if you put it upside down apparently, but just in case the paint won't take or something, I said I'd take it off. Twist it around and redo it, which was really hard in the world's smallest room with a whole bunch of crap. Anyway, let me just get on with it. I can quit my whining and I can get on with it, get on with the show. Right, I'm thinking we're kind of looking good there. Let's lift this bad boy up, see where we get to. I think that's close enough. It's pretty good. It's good. There. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to a Friday evening at a Pretty average West Cork, I gotta say. A little bit windy, not too sunny, a little bit gray, a little bit bright, a little bit dark, a little bit of everything. I've not recorded for about the last three days. This uh, plasterboarding and sealing, and it was a bit difficult. I didn't know what I was doing, so I was taking it slow. Coupled to that, this space is actually tiny and there's not a lot of room. So, same thing I've been saying every night, really. I've done a little bit. I wonder is there an easy way to show you this. So we can see ceiling up here and around and back here. I've done a plasterboard as we come behind the beam. It's getting a bit dark. This I've done in backer board because our shower is going to be right under it. So between the two of them, plasterboard and backer board, I feel I'm getting into a little bit of a flow of course the wall is not square there so there's some horrific joins a few things at angles but in an old house that's kind of to be expected i started on the wall um as i think i said in a different video actually no it's a video that came out four months ago uh there's a couple in america Jeremy and Melissa on Good Simple Living. They have a little handheld router, which very nicely cuts out the frames. So they put the whole sheet up and they just cut out, but like, that's not really working for me for some reason. Maybe I have the wrong bit. The router just creates a monstrous amount of dust. So I've started to use uh, multi-tool. Um, it's actually taken off a little bit too much, so once we have the inside up, I'd say we're going to have to fill that a little bit. 
we're going to use the leftover larch just to frame out our windows so what i am going to do now see if i can put you on time lapse i'm not sure if it'll work but i want to tape up these joints i want to get another um sheet up here and then i will fill up the bottom with a few more sheets friday evening if i get that done it'll be nice prep for tomorrow morning so it will be just a short session the days are getting a little bit brighter it's about five o'clock now it's fairly bright so hopefully we'll be doing a little bit more work the weather is not good tomorrow which is saturday but sunday is very very good so i have a whole day tomorrow now to get a bit of plasterboard up i'd love to finish off this room that's like maybe a stretch goal but i'm going to i'm going to give it a go see if i can get away with it and right now though let me just show you i'll maybe time lapse and you can see how you get on a problem that i have is the roof is tallest at this end and that makes it very difficult to stand up it has to be right in there which puts a very big bend in the middle Oh, look at that. Thank God. So, oh, you can see it. Here's one I prepared earlier that just cracked in the middle. It actually cracked at the back when I was cutting it and I thought I could stand it up and screw it so the front wouldn't be damaged. Then it fell on my head. Yeah, Mike. I don't know how I meant to take out the socket, but I reckon if I just kind of go here. where the battens are. I should lift it up also, but um, Clara normally helps me with that. She's not here, so I'll just fix it in place and trim a bit off the bottom. Hey, Rudy. What's up, dog? This is the part I don't love, the finish. Getting all neat and tidy doesn't suit me. <laughs> 61. So we can go. That 
worked pretty good actually. Multi-tool, slight angle, it just kind of slides along. Quite happy with that. Okay. The bottom, that's what I was looking for. Just a little bit on the outside of the line. I'll clean that up now. Um, a little bit tight here. I can fill that in. Once the trim is in, that's okay. This went too close. I kind of cut through, I'll have to retape that. So that's it. What else is there? There is the sockets, which I kind of went a little bit too high on the top one. I, sh I should have measured it, I guess, off the ground. And gotten the point, but I was only a fraction out if you can see. So, yeah, I'll just trim this all out, trim that out. I might call that a day then today. Friday evening, not a lot's gonna get done. Gotta go out and make some barbecue, but she's getting there. That's a good start for me now. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put the other two pieces on the bottom and the top. I'll call that then. done. Two, three, two, two, one, two, Okay. You want to come in, Rue? Come on, so. If there is an easier way, let me know. Because this seems crazy difficult. Yeah, of course, all the wires get in the way as well. Okay. 
Okay. So it needs to be trimmed. Nobody's perfect. Right? Right through. And of course, because I'm an amateur, I forgot to measure where the piece of wood is in the middle. So I think I'm going to guess. If I was a piece of wood, I'd be here. Clearly, I'm not a piece of wood. But I was nearby. I'm gonna fill you up. Now let's get one more. I reckon about there. Okay, and we can go up to there also. Oh my god, come on. Take these down. Gotta find a way, a better way. Looking decent. I will not say good. I will just say decent. Right, let's guess something out here. I'm getting very lucky with my guesses, I must say. This is just me screwing plasterboard. I might save you the recording and the time lapse. <laughs> 